introduce the fella Go come under one umbrella Call the western man, I'll tell you He's something you should see Break on down, he'll build another Next time round, he'll take it further In the end, he'll call you brother In his own democracy The, uh, the OPD was a great event uh, to be with my uh, fellow company commanders, get a chance to talk about those different issues, everyone being at separate outstations, you don't always get the time to be able to discuss some issues that you think of in person. And with the Iran-Iraq War, OPD, straight from the Iraqi Army Generals, uh, that was really good. Gave you a great insight and perspective into the events, historical events that led those Iraqi colonels and Iraqi leaders to be who they are today and how their mindset and thought process works. It was really interesting to learn um, all the things that Iraq leadership had to deal with when it came to the Iran-Iraq war and the, just from the terrain all the way up through their top leadership and uh, the differences between the way we're led and mentored and the differences between the way they're led and mentored uh, was definitely eye-opening. You know, makes you very thankful for you know, what you've got here and in fact that Colonel Jones is bringing us out there to teach us the right way of doing things or you know, the things that they were facing as compared to what we face. Um, as far as it relating to what we're doing here, it was just, it kind of makes you understand what it is, uh, the reason why they are the way they are. It's the projects, it's being able to, all of the stuff at the beginning of a project is uh, all well worth it when it comes to executing and being able to meet the people that you've impacted. Some of the most important ones um, for me, you know, I'm not, I, I command the company but I also am doing women's initiatives for the brigade and, and those have been the ones that have both been most heartfelt for me because um, we've reached out to a lot of women here and. Uh, they're not used to that, you know, they're, they're used to being the ones in the background doing all the hard labor. There was a lot we didn't know before we got here. We pretty much had to teach ourselves the whole mission. Um, how to do a project, how to do a grant. Basically, um, the entire thing from the beginning to the end. Uh, there was a few base things that we were taught before we got here, like working with um, interpreters and negotiations and things like that. But overall, we had to teach ourselves pretty much everything we know. I think there's a misperception back in the States just based on the media reporting of the capabilities of you know, what the ISF and GOI and, and the Iraqi people are themselves. Uh, we all think that they're a lot more uh, immature we'll say, than, uh, than they really are. They, uh, they really do have a lot of capabilities and uh, sometimes we just you know, fail to realize that, that they can work at a higher level. Uh, at this point, it's no longer a kinetic mission. So when we can go out and show how it is that the uh, U.S. forces, and PRTs, and the brigade are working together, and you show that to the people, then the people really understand that our mission here is to help them rather than to you know, cause some type of, of harm.